Hi everyone, it's JJ here and welcome to Be Colorful. Today I finally share with you the products I bought during the Weekender Bundles by Tonic Studio of the 5th June. I told you about it in the last craft haul video, for which one you can find the link here in the description box. So Tonic Studios makes new discounts every weekend at very amazing prices. Too amazing! For the weekend of uh, 5th June I took advantage of this uh, nouveau ink pad bundle. I paid them uh, £13.49 instead of £29.97. A nice saving, uh, I'd say. So let's find out in detail. These inks are sold in packs of three. I have other ink pad from some Tonic Studios monthly craft kit, but on the market you can find this set of three, or for some colors, the large pads, as you can see in the picture. Each package has a theme, so there are three matching colors. For example, here we find a combo often used to represent mermaids or unicorns, in general fantasy creatures. The Rose Garden set features a combo of colors typically found in nature, used to represent grass, flowers and leaves. The third set, Blue Blossom, has a color palette that always reminds of nature scenes, like a branch of small pink flowers that have just blossomed, which contrast an immense and deep blue sky. Well, now I'm going to add the new colors to my color chart. This binder contains a clear pocket that uh, I have modified in order to create a small pocket, so I able to store a strip of paper inside with the name and the sample of the product. I recorded a video in which I make this uh, pocket. When uh, I have time to edit it, I will share uh, it with you, in case anyone is uh, interested. Now I'm just uh, dubbing the inks in their respective sheets. So when I work on a project, I can consult this binder and choose which color to use. In the meantime, I describe the main property of these uh, inks. First of all, they are felt pads, therefore slightly rigid, no spongy to understand. They are also permanent, waterproof and alcohol friendly. So we can use them with water-based uh, mediums such as uh, mousse and watercolors and alcohol-based as markers. As you can see they are very pigmented colors but no covering. They dry very quickly, this uh, reduces the risk of uh, smudging but uh, does not uh, allow you to do the heat embossing technique. Now I'm going to stamp uh, using a stamp with a solid image to see how the ink works. While I'm stamping, I'd like just to remind you that you can find all the products that you see in this video on the description box and uh, in the coordinated blog post. As you can see, this type of ink is not very suitable if you want a nice and crisp impression. I want to clarify that it may depend on the paper I'm using. However, in these cases, it would be better to use a stamping platform to be able to stamp several times until you get a good impression image. To clean the stamp I use this tool that has a surface of synthetic bristles over which I sprayed a special solution that allows to almost perfectly clean the stamps from different types of ink and with this pad the operation is quick and easy. I continue with the test using a darker color so you can better see the result. I can confirm what I just said.
Now let's try to use a stamp with uh, an outlines image, not a solid figure. And I can say that the result is better. Not perfect, but it could be fine. If you want to get perfect impressions, it would be better to use a stamping platform anyway. For example, if you want to stamp a sentiment. However, I repeat that this may be due to the type of the paper. Now let's try a little blending using a blending tool. So I'm gonna test the ability of these inks to be blending together. So I get a nice shade, but not easily. Again, this may depend on the paper. There are inks more suitable for this technique, in my opinion. However, you can make the blending technique with this ink pad, but you have to be quick and precise since they are fast dry. As all inks, there are things uh, that can be done with excellent uh, results, others uh, that can be done with small tricks, and others that cannot be done. To end, these are the features of these inks, which uh, I have uh, personally observed. You will find this summary on my blog where you can download and print to insert it in your color chart and have uh, these informations always uh, at hand. In the same order I bought uh, some Craft Perfect acetate sheet. I usually recycle uh, pieces of acetate from the packaging and uh, I will continue to do so but uh, I needed uh, to have a new acetate sheet available without uh, scratches and uh, above all uh, thicker than uh, the ones uh, I recycle. And uh, maybe I could need uh, a rather large piece uh, and uh, usually the ones I can uh, save are quite small. Finally, I bought this uh, dye to create a glass of beer. Beautiful! In particular, we find two dyes, one that creates uh, the glass and the other that cut out the interior spaces, allowing us to create a fantastic shaker card. Here we also find five blisters that make easier the creation of the shaker card, avoiding to glue the acetate sheet and to surround the area with foam tape. You will see it at work shortly because I want to make a card for a friend's birthday. As you can see, the blister fit perfectly inside these shapes. These dies are part of the Shaker Creator series from Tonic Studios and they are fantastic. Slowly I will buy all of them, also because I love Shaker cards. In fact, in the videos where I create card using a Tony Craft kit, the shaker card never missed. So that's all for today. I hope you get fun with this uh, video and uh, I hope the little test of the product uh, that I bought is uh, helpful uh, to you. So thanks uh, for watching, see you all next time and be colorful!